I didn't get nothing for training day. How about that? I didn't get a zero. But it changed my life forever. You didn't know who I was if it wasn't for a no paying job. But I have never, ever, ever looked at whatever money I got as a horror story. Mm -hmm. If I did it, I loved it. Right. I thought at this Jay! time that would be the biggest thing I've ever done. And I remember going to the theater and going, oh my God, oh my God, I'm on the screen. I made it, I made it. <laughs> and then when, once he was nominated for an Academy Award, yes. they played this scene at the Academy Awards. So you were at the Oscars. And my, well, I wasn't, I wasn't at it, but I was in it. Yes. I'll never forget that night. You have to understand, I showed up just to watch. A friend of mine, he was the location manager, mm -hmm. and he was like, hey man, you can come down. Denzel's working in LA. You can come down and see Denzel work. I was like, I would love to. Now you were already T Money on the battle. I dome? was already T Money. I okay. was like, you know, I was doing my little acting thing, you okay, know, but it was sure. like, whatever. Terry Crews finally broke the silence about working for free on training day with Denzel Washington in a new interview with Club Shay Shay. Terry Crews is an actor who makes it impossible not to like him. Crews' story, filled with toughness and thankfulness, is like a young athlete's journey, playing for love of the game, not for money. Plus, there's growing excitement about a Training Day prequel. Will John David Washington fill his father Denzel's legendary shoes? Jump into this story of determination and the thrilling future of movies. Before we continue, we ask you to subscribe to the channel, as it is important to us. Terry Crews, the super strong actor, is famous for his amazing acting in many different kinds of movies. But lately, he talked about something that shows how humble he is. In an interview this week, the thankful guy shared about the hard times he faced when he was just starting his career. Let's hear what he had to say about his early days. The actor from Brooklyn Nine-Nine was on Club Shay Shay and was himself during the interview. He was thankful and didn't just focus on money when talking about his success. Terry Crews said he didn't get paid for his role in Training Day, but he's grateful for the chance to be part of the movie. During his talk on Club Shay Shay, the actor from Everybody Hates Chris said, I have never, ever, ever looked at whatever money I got as a horror story. To stress this point, the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire mentioned that he didn't get any payment for the movie Training Day in 2001. He also mentioned that he was paid only $4,000 for his role in the movie Friday After Next in 2001. 2002. But that didn't make the expandable star unhappy. Instead, it made him say, you wouldn't know who I was if it weren't for a no-paying job. Reflecting on his past struggles and career journey, these two movies were the ones that helped Terry Crews develop his talent and improve his chances of becoming the movie star he is today. The Idiocracy actor compared not getting paid to a young athlete starting out, saying, Name somebody who played football for money when they started. Describing the challenge, the actor from The Longest Yard said, When they start, they get no money. They play football for free. They play basketball for free. Then, you get all the way to the pros. And you get the millions. There's no other way. There's no way to hop, skip, and jump this thing. This is how the man with talents in acting and hosting showed his gratitude for his roles in the movies he did in his early career days. Over the years, the actor from Norbit has had opportunities to work with famous people like Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Eddie Murphy, and others. One of these actors was also Ice Cube. Recalling his past, Cruz added, If I did it, I loved it. This keeps my heart always full of gratitude. Expressing gratitude, the actor said, I got my shot. That was the start. Now I make money. In that same interview, the versatile actor also thanked Ice Cube for allowing him to be part of Friday After Next. I, listen, I saw Cube probably about a month ago. And I walked up to him, man. I said, dude, thank you. Thank you. I said, you have no idea how many careers you started just by giving us that shot. Right. A lot of people never, ever really give props what props is due. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're like, well, I didn't get that much money. And, 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 but dude, that was my start. No. But wait, there are rumors that Denzel Washington's son, John David Washington, will follow in his father's footsteps in the new installment of Training Day. Let's see. Making a new project based on a classic is hard, and people expect a lot. Some movies and shows do this well, but others don't last long. It's a risk. 
but it can work out. The movie Training Day from 2001 is a classic, and they announced a prequel series about Denzel Washington's character. Some thought his son would play the role, but after the initial excitement, things calmed down, making some wonder if this was just another failed idea that didn't happen. So, is the Training Day prequel still going to happen? Let's find out. The movie Training Day from 2001 is a classic crime thriller that made a big impact when it came out. While there was excitement about the film, not many people could predict what would happen with this outstanding project. Featuring Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke, this movie was a brilliant move, earning over a hundred million dollars worldwide. And if that wasn't enough, Denzel Washington won the Academy Award for Best Actor, and Ethan Hawke was nominated for Best Supporting Actor that same year. Washington was amazing in the movie, and his character's most famous line was improvised. The King Kong moment came out of Denzel. I remember that moment because we were doing the scene, and he just started going off. I remember looking at the cameraman and saying, I hope you got that, because I don't think we're going to get that again. Denzel came over to me and goes, Who? I don't know where that came from. It was exhausting for him. You saw him just go there in that place said director Antoine Fuqua. The movie is still considered a classic, and many years later, they announced a prequel series focusing on Washington's iconic character. In 2019, they announced that a prequel series to Training Day would be coming to TV. According to Collider, sources tell Collider that the prequel will be set nearly a decade earlier in late April of 1992, two days before the Rodney King verdict was delivered. The Training Day prequel will follow a younger version of Alonzo Harris, a career-defining role that brought Washington his second Oscar and his first as a lead. The original film also saw Hawk nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his turn as rookie narcotics detective Jake Hoyt. Antoine Fuqua directed from a script by David Ayer, and the film went on to gross more than $100 million worldwide the site continued. As exciting as all of this sounded, fans quickly realized that Denzel Washington would not be reprising his role. Naturally, this was a bit disappointing since the role has become quite iconic. Several years have passed since the announcement of this project circulated online, and there hasn't been any release yet. This has led to speculation about the show's future. So, will the Training Day prequel series actually come out, or is it just another idea that never happened? MovieWeb reported that the California Film Commission gave out tax credits for movie projects to be filmed in the state. Among them was the prequel Training Day, Day of the Riot, which got $9.1 million in tax credits from Warner Brothers. This year, the commission gave a record $149.2 million in credits for 30 movies. Currently, there's no further information about the project. However, this is exciting news because it means we're getting closer to finally seeing this eagerly anticipated show. Some might recall the brief Training Day series from a few years ago. However, that show was set 15 years after the original movie and didn't include Ethan Hawke. Instead, it starred Bill Paxton and was canceled after his unfortunate death. Hopefully, this prequel series focusing on Denzel's iconic character will connect better with viewers once it's finally on TV. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your opinion in the comments. Thanks in advance.